So basically, we were coming from from a, from a job, and we heard a couple of gunshots, maybe about 20, 30. That's from the, from the beginning. And as we got closer, we started hearing a lot more gunfire, maybe over 100. And then we saw a whole bunch of cop cars scattered all around, probably over 100 cop cars, just one after the next, after the next, after the next, fire truck, ambulance, you name it. it was, they all was coming in hot. And uh, then we actually got stuck on the other side because they just started closing up all the streets. And then we started hearing it from our phones, from the Citizens app, that four officers got shot, two of them was in critical condition, and therefore, you know, they kept closing more streets. And we were on the other side for maybe an hour. And basically the cop was like, you know, you're gonna be here all night, so you might as well, you know, find a way to go back to where you, you know, where you live at. And then we end up coming over here and they stopped us right here because, you know, everywhere is blocked off. But basically we heard a lot of gunfire and um, supposedly they said there was a, a house right down the street there in the corner. And uh, they're saying there was uh, some Philippines who live in the house. And they're saying that it was uh, the U.S. Marshals came for a search warrant and they started shooting out the window. And therefore that's when uh, all the gunfire was coming from. Oh, it, it, it was crazy. I was like, we got to get out of Dodge. You know, we, we never know when a bullet is coming your way. So we end up turning around and, and, and leaving the area because it was just so much gunfire going on that, that it, it sounded like it was just getting closer and closer. Uh, that, that's actually my father-in-law and we work together. So actually I come here every morning to, so we, I could jump in his truck and go to the job sites. So we actually was coming from a job site when, when we heard all the gunfire and everything. He's been here for, for 10 years and he would have never thought that uh, this would ever happen around here. And this area to me is, is beautiful. I, I, I would never even think, I only been out here for one year. I came from New York. So for me seeing this neighborhood, I thought it was just a nice peaceful area, neighborhood. Would have never thought that this would ever uh, go down. It's very scary. I'm just hoping that the four officers who got shot are going to make it and uh, hopefully they get the suspect who's barricaded inside the house because uh, I'm pretty sure it's a scary scene down down the street. So are you all just going to wait it out? It's we, have, we have no choice but to wait it out because, uh, you know, they saying it's going to be an all-night thing and, you know, we, we got time right now, I guess, to wait it out. You know, we can't leave, we can't go, we can't go to our home, so I guess we got to wait it out, so.